Welcome to Nico Props. I'm Chris Fry, also known as Nicodemus. Um, so here at uh, Nico Props, we're all about helping makers um, and helping to inspire makers. So um, on that note, what I'd like to do is talk about resin 3D printing. So this is going to be a very generalized video. I'm just going to go through a little bit about the cheaper points of uh, resin 3D printing. You can go much higher, but that's not really of interest to us as prop makers and things. So um, we're just going to talk about this. So essentially what resin 3D printing is, is um, you take a, a resin like this and uh, you simply uh, pass UV rays through it and it sets solid. Now what these machines have a tendency to do, the cheaper ones, these, these two here, this is a Nova 3D Elfin and a Nova 3D Benny 4. Um, now the different, um, the, ways that, the way that they work essentially, excuse me Albert, I'll just move you, if I open this up here. So, this tray here, has got um, resin in it. It's a resin bar for the film across the bottom. Underneath that is an LCD screen, a 4K LCD screen, right? So this platform goes up and down and uh, essentially it, uh, it just touches the bottom of the tray, leaves a tiny bit of a gap. The LCD screen creates a mask of what you're actually 3D printing, shines the light for it to cure the resin, moves up, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, right? Now, both of these machines will do the same thing. They will, so this one will do it slightly faster and a slightly higher resolution, but the build volume on these is the same. Now, there are different versions of uh, the resin 3D printers, some that use lasers and some that use um, uh, LED screens, that kind of thing. These are the LCD versions. There are lots of other brands as well, Arion, uh, Mars, uh, Anycube, those various ones, right? So there's a lot of them about, but these are LCD based and they're the cheaper ones. These are sort of around 300 pounds, uh, probably, you know, about the same US, three, 350 USD. Um, dollars, right? So that's those. Now, the way that these work, you use a slicer, uh, a program. You get uh, it's called Tube Box. Oh, I think I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it right, and if I'm not, you know, I uh, will sort that out. Let me know in the comments below. Um, so yeah, so uh, use a slicing program, it slices a 3D model into layers that uh, are basically bitmap images um, that, uh, that get shown on the screen below, the resin cures and it just does that. Now once the resin is cured uh, with the UV light, um, you then have to, uh, you have to clean it off. So one, you want to clean it off with this, isopropyl alcohol, okay? so. You can just put it into a, a tub and kind of shake it around or brush it on or spray it on or whatever, or you can use one of these. Um, there's various different makes and models of this. This one is by Anycube, it's the Wash and Cure. We're gonna go into more details on each of these devices in other videos, by the way. Um, so essentially, you put it in there, there's a strip of LED lights at the back, and you turn it on for however long you want and it cures the outside, right? But before you do that, you need to wash it. So you put this tub in there that's full of uh, our isopropyl alcohol and you can wash it, take it out, put, it, put your model onto the platform and cure it. Now the resolution of, uh, of these, these models is astounding. So have a look at that. So this is the Mandalorian. I printed him on the Elfin. And look at that detail. You can't even really see the ridge lines. So something like this, this kind of printing, here's uh, Deadpool by the way, let's have a look at that. Um, this kind of printing, you know, what is it useful for us? For prop makers and, and that kind of thing, right? I'll put these the wrong way around and that's gonna annoy me. There we go. 
Sorry about that. So <clears throat> what can these, these printers be used for? So um, I've used it to print 3D parts uh, like this, where it's gonna be a high resolution. I'm gonna wanna paint it, right? But it's part of a larger model. So I mean, this is actually pieces of a Mandalorian helmet, funnily enough. And I've used traditional 3D printing to print a Mandalorian helmet. So this is, um, done in PLA plastic, so that's a corn-based plastic. And you can, uh, if I show you on the camera there, you can see those ridges. Look at the ridges in there, you can really see that. But I'm gonna sand this down. Now, the reason that I did the resin parts, which go into here, like this, like so, um, the reason I did those is so that I don't have to sand them as much. Basically, there's a lot of detail there. I don't want to lose that. So it's a matter of knowing when to use traditional 3D printing or FDM 3D printing or, or resin uh, 3D printing. Um, now the resins, they come in a variety of different si sizes, types, colors. So I've got the, uh, the Nova 3D resins here. Um, they do this in a various different colors. They, uh, this, all of these resins are IPA wash. They, there is resins available that you can wash with water so you don't have to use isopropyl alcohol or IPA. Now, you can get transparent resins as well. So there's an example. And when you buy an over 3D, you also get a couple of models on there. And you also get some transparent green with there now look at this for a model look at that the both of these that this one and, and and the octopus are actually on as examples and i didn't realize when i first printed this octopus right i mean this has got stunning detail i'm not sure if that's picking pick, getting picked up on the camera or not but um yeah uh it's so good it is so good i didn't realize it was articulated when i went to remove it from the build plate uh, i felt like i'd broken it which i hadn't so, um, you know, fair enough. Now, something else you can do as well. So I've got, here's some Aerion colors here as well. Now, the, the, these ones I've got is um, uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. CM, uh, CMKY, CMKY? CYK, I don't know. I can't remember the order of the letters, but um, essentially, <laughs> It's uh, you, that's a basically a 3D is a printing process. So you could this is cayenne here. We move these out of the way. You can mix these together essentially. And um, when you've mixed them together, see so that's cayenne. That's just a bright blue, and you're like, well, you know, that's fine. But what if I mixed a tiny bit of blue with the yellow for my little Yoda here? And you can create your own colors of resin. So all you've got to do is find out the. Uh, the, uh, the print colors for a particular color that you want, in theory, just mix it together and use that as a resin. So that's quite handy. Now, the, the way I also see this being used in, uh, in cosplaying and, and props and costumes is you've got the transparent resins. They come in different colors. I've got some, uh, I think this is, yeah, it's transparent red here by Sunderly. I'm gonna be trying out. I haven't tried it yet, but I'd like to print transparent stuff, crystals and things like that. I'm, I'm tempted to make a, uh, um, uh, yeah, a, a sword of omens from um, Thundercats. I wanna produce that little round symbol on the, on the sword so that I can have light shining through it. I'm probably gonna print it. So it's gonna be really good. Um, right, so as I said before, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about these. This is just, a, it's a basic overview of 3D printing and the details and things you can get. I mean, these printers are often used with miniatures. Go and check out uh, myminifactory.com. Uh, there's a lot of STLs and things on there, the 3D files. Um, but uh, yeah, if you've got value out of this video today, uh, let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, obviously. Hit that notification bell so that uh, you can get updates as and when they happen. And I'm gonna be going through each of these machines <laughs> and some of the resins in separate videos in a little bit more detail. So check that out. I'm gonna put the playlist up there. 
somewhere or you know I might even put a couple of the videos here as well so that you can move on from this video and uh, and go into these catch me on the next episode I'm going to be trying to produce about two to three videos a week at least if not more so uh, definitely subscribe notifications like the video thanks again guys and I'll speak to you later